Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. This is a B1 level speaking lesson. Today we're going to be talking about vocabulary that you would need when you're at the airport. So here are some people who may have traveled by plane and we're going to be looking at why uh, they had to go. So they might ha ha have had to attend a, a business meeting, a family event, a conference or a trade fair. And these are some of the things that you might take with you when you fly. Uh, a suit, this person, oh, here's the suit. A change of clothing, your ticket or itinerary, your passport, hand luggage, and cabin luggage. And what did you do in the departure hall? Uh, in the United States, we just call this departures. Um, so here, um, pass through security. There, check the information board. Wait in line. Go to the counter or you can do the self check-in. And what about these? This is uh, your boarding pass, an exit stamp in your pass, uh, passport. Uh, this is presenting your passport, usually when you are checking in and going through passport control when you arrive at your destination. And then after passport control, you could buy something in the duty-free shop. Uh, you could go to a business lounge, walk to the departure gate, and board the plane. All right, um, now we're going to read this text. Uh, since this is a speaking lesson, I'd encourage you to pause the video and read aloud. If you'd like to hear me read it first, uh, you can do that, but then please do go back, rewind the video to this point and practice reading aloud yourself. Last week, I had to attend a meeting at a company in Rio de Janeiro. I live in Sao Paulo, so I had to book a flight. My flight was at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. On Saturday morning, I woke up early and quickly packed my bag. I logged into the airline website and reserved seat 34A by the window. I don't like to sit in the middle or in an aisle seat. I printed my boarding pass and put it into my wallet, grabbed my passport from my desk, and then called a taxi. There was no traffic, so we arrived at the departure hall with plenty of time. I paid the taxi driver, collected my luggage, and then waited in line for the first security check. I placed my keys, wallet, and phone, and my laptop in a special tray. After I walked through the scanner, everything is fine. I collected my luggage from the security belt. I walked to the information board and found my flight. AF-1660 from Sao Paulo to Rio de Janeiro. The check-in was at counter B. There was a queue at the counter, but it was short. Soon, it was, it, it was my turn to check in. I gave my passport and ticket to the airline representative, and he gave me my boarding pass. Next, I went to passport control, where a customs officer stamped an exit stamp in my passport. I had a quick look in the duty-free stores, but I didn't feel like buying anything. I went to gate 34. They started to board the plane. I presented my boarding pass, walked onto the plane, and found my seat. I placed my hand luggage in the overhead locker, and I sat down. I was ready to go. Now, there are a few words here that I just wanted to highlight, a few things actually, I actually wanted to highlight. Um, when he's talking about going through security, um, keys, wallet, phone, and laptop. Um, 
in some places you also have to remove your shoes and put your shoes into a, a tray and if you're wearing um, a jacket or a sweater you have to take that off before you go through the scanner um, let's see the other thing I wanted to mention oh there was a queue um, in the United States we just say a line instead of a queue um, and then um, let's see there was one other thing Oh, the overhead locker. Uh, in the U.S., we call it the overhead bin. So just a, a few differences if you're traveling in the United States. All right, so now think about a time when you um, were going to be traveling by air, by airplane. Um, did you request an aisle or a window seat? Did you request any kind of special meal? Um, this really only applies, I think, if you're flying a long distance, if it's an overseas flight. Usually on domestic flights, at least in the U.S., don't really get meals anymore, um, more just snacks and drinks. Uh, did you place your hand luggage in the overhead locker or overhead bin? And did you go to the information counter? All right, so now I'd like you to practice talking about a time when you traveled by air. Uh, remember to speak aloud, and these are some sentence starters to help you try to speak in complete sentences. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. I appreciate your comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.